You may have noticed something different when you've been in your local IKEA store. What was Bargain Corner is now reshop and reuse. So did you know that IKEA will now buy back your old unwanted IKEA furniture? Well, I didn't. Every year, millions of pieces of second-hand furniture go to waste. So they will now buy it back and give your unwanted furniture a second life. Once you sell your old furniture to IKEA, you'll receive a credit note to spend in-store or online on new stuff. So let me give you an idea of how this works. If you go onto the IKEA website, they have a section where you can check all the items of furniture that IKEA will accept back. Then you need to use the online buyback estimate tool, enter the furniture you have and the condition, and it will email you a quote. Then all you have to do is go into store within 30 days, speak to a member of staff, they'll check the condition of the item as you say it is, and you'll receive a gift card to spend in store or online. The Reshop and Reuse initiative by IKEA, both online and in-store, offers a unique selection of products ready for a whole new chapter. By making a purchase from these programmes, you're not only requiring great items, but you're also actively contributing to waste reduction. By visiting the Reshop and Reuse section in your local IKEA, you can discover a variety of items ranging from ex-display products, discontinued pieces, to even pre-loved treasures from the IKEA buyback service. I've never left an IKEA without picking up something from what was formerly known as Bargain Corner. The Reshop and Reuse experience is also online. Discover a wide array of products at your fingertips and conveniently reserve them for pickup in the Reshop and Reuse area of your preferred store. Rest assured, your selected item will be securely reserved for you for a very generous 48 hour period. So if you've never visited what was formerly known as Bargain Corner, you have been missing a treat. This is full of X-Display, one-offs, discontinued, showroom models, you name it. I always find something in here. It's my favourite part of IKEA. So let me show you what was in my Reading store in March. This is a fantastic large glass display bowl, down to five pounds. They had a fantastic selection of kitchen bits. They were redoing the kitchen area of my store, so that might have been why. You'll always find a great selection of cushions and cushion covers. They may be dirty, but you can obviously wash them. If real animal skin is your thing, this one was reduced down to 22 from 35 and had a great selection of fabrics. They had some chairs reduced, 399 down to 165 X display models. Then they had a great selection of cushion covers. These are great. You do have a bit of a route round, but there was a huge selection of bits, all label, which I like. The Reading store is really good. Beautiful selection of throws. This felt a bit like I was in home sense, but they had some really, really nice ones and they were pretty good, the reductions on these. You're looking at about 30 to 40%, which I think is really good. I always find fantastic organizational pieces in what was Bargain Corner. I picked up some of these last time I was in here. They also have a good selection of artwork and accessories. They do have built furniture, lots of X display models and obviously the buyback pieces. So you will need to take them with you. So make sure you've got a big car. Lots of storage bits, always have a good selection of mattresses. Discount wise, you're looking from about 30 to 40%. These are X display models, some are returned by customers. That might give you the ick, but they are clearly labeled. So if they're X display or X used, do check them out. These are fantastic if you want to replace some sofa cushions. They also had these fantastic storage boxes. These were also upstairs, but they were cheaper down here. So I switched over, which was a bit weird. So do watch out for that. I've had that before with glass jars, cheaper in here than reduced upstairs. They had a few summery bits. These hammocks were nice down to 25. I always pick up a picture frame. They have odd bits of artwork. No idea why these are reduced because half of these are upstairs, but you can pick up a good deal on a picture frame. Loads more office bits, small shelves. This desk was a good price as well. I actually picked up a few of these. These are down to 80p. I bought four of those. I found them in a big dump bin. But they do have odd pieces. So these lac shelves are one of my favourites down, obviously, X display models. 
These were actually bought back from a customer. These are part of the buyback, haven't seen those for years, and they had loads and loads of desks. You'll always find a fantastic light selection in here. Again, X display models, or I think when people rip them out of the packets, they just bring them down here. My top tip, if you are doing a PAX and wanting to put some lighting in, they have the overside and lights. Every single time I come here, this was in a sealed packet, nothing wrong with it. 25 quid down to 18, superb. Do check out the video on my channel, and my full review. I also found some compliment pieces. This is a 50 centimeter rail for a PAX. There's always these bits in here, so do have a route round. It's well worth it. Got a whole new video coming out on wedding bits that you find in Ikea, but they had loads of little bits dotted around. These really nice, these little candle holders. These are fantastic. I bought these last year. I really hope they don't discontinue because I do like them. Fantastic storage bags for putting away summer and winter clothes. This was a whole section of kitchen stuff. Mine is being redone, the store I was in, so everything was stacked up. They had loads of bits, loads of glasses, bowls, cups, you name it. I love these display bowls. I picked one of these up last time down to 175, which I thought was a really good price. They also had loads of kitcheny bits. That was down to three quid, really nice quality. They had the usual corkscrews. These were all discontinued, so they must be redoing the entire range. They had lots of things that are to go on pots and pans, you name it. These little pots were down to a pound. I nearly did pick one up to put some little beads and stuff in, but I didn't, but they were down to a pound. I did pick one of these up, a jug for the summer, perfect for putting squash in. They had some of their fantastic bags that were down to a pound for storing and sealing all of your food. They're always really good. Then they had these fantastic tea towels. I didn't need any because I've got about 500, but they were really good, a whole set for one pound 50. They even had foliage plants that reduced. I think they are redesigning this collection, so this is why all of this stuff is just reduced to clear. So you really can pick up a fantastic bargain. Didn't really understand this tray as it was ridged, so I'm not sure what you'd put on it and be very stable, but it was metal, uh, but I didn't really understand how you'd put safety things on it. They also had these fabulous chopping boards, super, super thin, down to 70p, which I thought was really good. I didn't buy one as I've got loads, but if you wanted a cheap chopping board, that was pretty good. Do you think this is one of the best trips I'd had to to Bargain Corner? Because this has spilled out into the main aisle near the checkouts, but they had lots of accessories reduced. I did pick up one of these. I thought it'd be handy to keep my husband's food warm when he's home late from work. If you're trying to set up your own snazzy Gordon Ramsay style bistro, these are good to put your chips in. And they had loads of glasses and odds and sods pieces, which I was really impressed with. So if you are planning to use the new reshop and reuse service, do let me know in the comments. Let me know if you've already done it or if you're thinking about doing it and what furniture you're going to sell back to IKEA. I'd love to hear. Hope you found it helpful. Do check out my other IKEA videos. I do new ones every week. So don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next video.